Okay, so finally after a long time, to be approximate about 28 days since we last saw beta 1 of watchOS 7.3, today we have a new update and it's watchOS 7.3 beta 2. So this is available to developers and to public beta testers at the time I'm recording this video. And the reason why Apple provided this update to both developers and public beta testers is because people who were on watchOS 7.3 beta 1 were on it for a long time. So the bugs and issues that they were facing, they had to endure them for quite some time. So irregardless of the profile you have, this is an update that you can update to and check out. And for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 that you see here, this update actually came in as a small file. It came in at around 128 megabytes. And just in case you are curious, let me show you some other updates that Apple released today. So as you can see, it's been a busy day for Apple. They released macOS Pixel 11.2 Beta 2 available to developers and to public beta testers and most of these updates that I'm about to show you are actually available to developers and to public beta testers. So we have macOS and then we have iOS 14.4 beta 2. We have iPadOS 14.4 beta 2. We have watchOS 7.3 beta 2 and we have tvOS 14.4 beta 2 available to developers and to public beta testers. So this is good and those are some of the updates. I'm going to be covering by the way most of these updates on the channel and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so that you don't miss out on most of these and basically for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 that you see here. It's been a stable update and so far I've been using it for about four hours and let me just show you some of the changes that are here when it comes to software. So if we go into settings and then go to uh, general and go where it says about here you can see the new build number that we have and as you can see the software version watchOS 7.3 and the build number that we have is 18S5793D so this build number has a D at the end and actually on watchOS 7.3 beta 1 we had a D at the end so we went from a D to a D which is you know not the best but it just goes to show you or tell you a bit more about this update that we still have some time before we see the official version or the final build of watchOS 7.3 and there isn't a lot that came with this update and also let me show you the usage that I have and you can see that it takes some time to load and as you can see you can see that I actually gained some space back so used is now 3.1 instead of 3.3 so after updating I gained some space back which is great so this might mean that when you update your watch to the next update that will be available you might not to, you might not need to clear your watch in order to update which is a good thing so when it comes to some new features and changes that came with this update there isn't a lot however there is something that changed when it comes to find my so you know how you have find my on the apple watch so this is how it looks on the apple watch and on the iphone it's actually been updated and basically if you want to see these items that you see here it's something that has been updated and you can do this by using Safari. So what you want to do is go to your Safari and then in the Safari search page there, you want to go there and then type find my, then put colon and then forward slash like this, put a forward slash and then put items. So items and then click search and then this page will pop up and then just click open and as you can see this is the page that pops up like this and basically what this is showing you it's a glimpse of the new icons or the user interface or ui that will be coming to find my on the apple watch and on the iphone when this update goes public or becomes wide this will allow you to be able to see these new icons and you'll be able to add items for example if we click add items you can see that it's searching for items and it won't find items because I actually don't have any items that I've set up. But if air tags become available or if you have third party tracking accessories that you want to find using your Apple Watch or your iPhone, 
then this will actually be easier when iOS 14.4 becomes wide and also watchOS 7.3. This is something good. I'm just demonstrating it on the iPhone because it's easier, bigger screen, unlike the Apple Watch. So this is something good that came with uh, this update. And basically there isn't a ton that came with this update. As you can see, for me, it's been quite stable and I'm actually happy with the way I'm able to change watch faces. You can see that this watch face responds so fast. Previously on beta one, there were issues with that where it would sort of delay. And sometimes when scrolling around or moving through pages or just going through settings and, you know, moving up and down, I would drop frames. But with this update, I would say that it seems a bit more stable. I'm loving it. And you can see that, you know, most of the watch functions are working as they're supposed to. I uh, wouldn't say it came with quite a number of features. As you can see, it's more focused on stability. However, the build number that we have with this update has a D at the end, so it says otherwise. So I wouldn't really advise you to update your main watch that you depend on. As you can see, the, main, the build number says a lot, and um, if it's a watch that you play with, perhaps you could go ahead with that. But if it's your main watch or something that you rely on a lot when it comes to health readings or fitness readings, then, you know, I wouldn't advise. But basically, this is how it came in for me on my Apple Watch series 6 if i do find any new issues or some more new features i'll update you on my social media handles and just let you know you know how it's performing for me and other than that that's how it is for me on my apple watch series 6 if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed a sub would be great stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace